anger span. My finest work. Named for my father. No other way to save the valley but to see it crumble. That's sad. You worked so hard and named it after your dad and I gotta destroy it all. That sucks, bro. Oh. They need us to hold the span. We were supposed to be the battle hands. Not an army from Stygia. Ladugar's eyes are upon you. I'm not saying we retreat. I'm saying we can't hold against dwarf and devil alone. Ah! <sighs> Goodbye. And... <laughs> Wait, how do I? Uh oh. <laughs> Wait. Um. <laughs> Shit, I forgot how to do the do the new moves already. I know I don't have this. It's, oh God, what was it? sure I remember it. Explosive barrel. What's oh, a healing thing in it? Yeah. Why would Dulaval come all this way into the ship? Ouch. Come on. Nope, no, 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 no. I need to reach Bangor's span before the main Durgar arc, or this entire valley will be. Oh, I don't know what that was, but okay. I don't remember Durgar being like that, but okay. Oh, 
Oh wait, hey, I, oh, didn't I pick up a thing? No, I didn't. Ambush point, I think. For the clan. Back up, back up. Move, move, move. Come on, come on. Increase the loot rarity. Yeah. I don't really tell. Hey, what is that? Okay. Don't like it, but hey. I don't know what that big mother trucker is. What are you? Yo. Okay. No idea what that thing is, but already. Burning just a little. Oh, rare crystal. Got another explosive barrel. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that corpse launch. Oh. 
Ooh, I'm not dying news. Like I think I'm good. I need to figure out what some of my other moves that I just bought are, but time for man, I'm good. That's not too bad. Nope, don't want to go boom. Thank you. that bit not at all um no it's increase the loot rarity I don't think we're at a point where I absolutely need all that plus I know if I take a short rest some of these enemies will come back don't really want to deal with them a second time Is that what this thing does? No, this is what it does. Gotcha. Gave me a health potion back. Kelvin, it, it fell on Kelvin's can. Where? I, I don't, I don't know. Ah, useless. coming. 
I ain't gotta fight all that, right? I'm I'm one I'm one little dwarf, not a son of Moradin. Don't oh. let him near the span. Come on, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, nope. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta get rid of him. Uh-uh, uh nope, nope, nope. Ah, God, what is going? What is happening? I think it inverted the controls. Dude, 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 no. Holy frick. This guy is a pain in me. Rear end. Cool, I got rid of that one. Let's get rid of some of these other idiots. Come on. Come on, come on. Ow. Oh, come on. Yep, inverted. Ah. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, yes. Sweet. Oh, my lord. That guy was annoyingly tough. Shard is calling. And the worthy will answer. They hear the call. Well, that was Kessel. He's dead now. Ooh. Oh, what is this?
the cultists. Okay. Bruner's home was a ruin. And the destruction of Bangor's span, the bridge named for his father, its loss was a heavy burden. The dwarves had to abandon their life, chased from their homes by the goblin and her big remnants of Kessel's orders. These threats and worse had answered the call of Krent Shinnabon. Were the only thing that stood between these creatures, the shard, and the utter destruction of our home. Whoa. Garn and Mun Murden. Whoa, look at those two. Oh, okay. We got some good gear out of this one. No revives, no team attacks triggered. Okay. I thank you for your contribution. Couldn't have done it without you. Hey, level three. Sweet. One attribute point, one feet point. There was a, an attribute thing back here, wasn't there? I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. Now we didn't get any epic or legendary ones out of that. Yeah. Wow. We got some serious gear out of there. Set our equipped at the same time. It's crazy. Okay, let's go open our uh, uh, rewards chest real quick. What? Necrotic resistance helm. Plus 20 necrotic resistance, plus 14% crit, uh, 14% critical damage, 5% critical chance, plus 20 fire resistance? Yo, what? That's awesome. Lightning resistance ring? Armor penetration? Elemental penetration? Okay. Uh, Durgar infiltrator shield. Goblin Bane chest guard. Oh, that one's actually not half bad for me Anytime at the moment. You want to come sell me something? Keeper of Secrets right Axe. Okay, so the Keeper of Secrets one does a bit more damage. Gives me a dan damage bonus. Goblin Bane Axe. Mental Penetration. It's taunted Monsters. 20% incoming damage reduction. Okay. Cool. You know, we we did that one fairly quickly. What you're looking for, King? I want. Okay, what would happen? Can I? Can I upgrade it? Yeah, why not? Let's. That'll do nicely. Equipment item upgraded. Straight again. Yeah, it's shit.
Nah, I just really wanted to do it to the axe. Okay, so that's how it works. That's how you upgrade it. Main objective is what? Okay. The Goblin Shard. Goblin named Hamburg claims to have found the shard and has taken over a part of the Dwarven Valley where his horde is building him a crystal tower. This is where I can get Goblin Bane stuff. Keeper of Secrets stuff. Duragar Infiltrator. Rubik is taking control of Nurgon's Forge and slaughtering any dwarf in sight. Cultists that worship the crystal shard like a god have found Kessel's body and infused it with arcane power, reanimating him. Now he seeks to rebuild his army and take his revenge on Icewind Dale. Ooh. I don't like the sound <laughs> <laughs> Sound of that, man. Um, Icewind has been terrorizing the people of Dale for slaying her mate, Icing Death. A frost giant named Uthar is attempting to break into Kelvin's, Kelvin's tomb and recover an artifact that he believes will help him find and claim the crystal shard. Dreams. A powerful being has dominated some of the Duragar stranded in Icewind Dale and has them mining Shardling Crystals and Crystal Remnant. Mask of Kelvin. See Battle Rager, Battle Hammer King. Coldstone Guardian. Go for goblin. Goblins had begun constructing a tower to secure their foothold in Bruner's home, and had spread out from that stronghold into the Dwarven Valley. The first step to clear out the goblins was breaking into the goblin fort guarding the entrance to Rugrib's quarter. We would have to recover explosives to blow our way through their fortifications, and then take out the foreman and his Verbeeg enforcer. Oh, great. What's this one? Emperor Hamburg, he called himself. This goblin claimed to have found the shard. But what his goblin horde was constructing was no crystal tower. There was only one way into the canyon where Hamburg was building his tower. Its entry was held by Goffin's door. But the door's runestone locks were scattered across Rugrib's quarter. And so before we storm the tower, we would recover the runestones, engage those locks on Goffin's door, and seal Hamburg in. Wow, okay. We had sealed Hamburg within his canyon, but left unchecked, he would eventually break free. If that happened, all of Ten Towns would suffer raids from his goblin horde. And so now was the time to assault his throne room. Once Hamburg was defeated, we would tear down his tower and restore dignity to at least this part of the Dwarven Valley. Okay. Wait, why are these ones? We had. S I don't know. Goblins had begun. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I might play this one through a couple more times just to get some more levels and uh, some more Horde Raider gear uh, do it in my own free time and then uh, the next episode we'll start going after the Goblin Shard and then uh, after Verbeeg and then the Cultists because they're a bunch of psychopaths and then I think was it Yeah, then we get to go after the Mask of Kelvin. Then Crystalline Dreams. And then, I believe, 
after Icewind herself. But didn't they, didn't they, there was a thing of a, I'm so confused, what the hell? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to that point. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, th this has actually been a lot of fun. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be playing this a lot more. And hopefully, next time you guys uh, see these videos, I will have a lot better gear, and I'll understand how to use my ability. Don't know if that's a good thing, but. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Comment down below what you would like me to do or like to see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you guys are aware of every time I post because that's how YouTube works. And I will see you guys in the next video.